Have you ever wondered why the salt flats turn red? Halobacterium salinarium is a unique bacterium belonging to the kingdom Archaea, which causes this red color change. Halobacterium salinarium is halophilic due to its ability to live in environments of high salinity or environments with a high salt content. It can be considered to be an aerobic bacterium, but they are able to survive with little to no oxygen because they employ a photosynthetic process using a protein in their plasma membrane. This protein is a proton pump called bacteriorhodopsin. It uses light photons to pump hydrogen ions across the plasma membrane to create a proton gradient. Bacteriorhodopsin is a transmembrane protein that contains seven membrane-spanning alpha helices. The helices are labeled A through G in this diagram. Within the alpha helices is a chromophore called retinol, which is covalently bound to the polypeptide chain. Retinol is part of what gives these archaea their red color. Retinol is bound to a lysine residue in helix G and is shown here in the transconfiguration, which is its protonated form. When protonated, it appears purple in color. A photon of light absorbed by retinol stimulates deprotonation of the molecule. One photon causes the hydrogen atom bound to nitrogen to move to the oxygen bound to aspartate 85. Aspartate 85 moves toward retinol as the C alpha helix undergoes a conformational change. The isomeration of retinol changes its color from purple to pink and its configuration from all trans to 13 cis. The fully deprotonated retinol molecule is now yellow in color. It straightens, pushing against the F helix, causing it to tilt. Conformational changes also occur in the G helix and the arginine 82 residue of the C helix. The hydrogen atom then moves from the oxygen on aspartate 96 to the negatively charged nitrogen on retinol. A channel opens when the F helix bends outward, allowing a hydrogen atom to enter from the cytosol and reprotonate the negatively charged oxygen on aspartate 96. The reprotonation of retinol causes it to return to its pink 13-6 configuration and the F and G helices move back to their respective positions. Arginine 82 on helix C is also repositioned. The proton bound to aspartate 85 is transferred through a series of hydrogen bonds to water molecules as it is passed out into the extracellular space. Once again, retinol is in its purple all-trans configuration and the process can begin all over again. This takes only a fraction of a second to complete, allowing the bacteria to retain its characteristic red color. The pumping of hydrogen across the plasma membrane produces a proton gradient, which is then used by ATP synthase to generate ATP-powering metabolic processes.